Hey Aries, I'm Leticia and I am here with your weekly horoscope for August the 26th through September 1st. And last week I was too excited in my videos because uh, Mercury had moved forward. This week we have Mars moving forward on Monday and uh, the 27th and I am beyond excited. And for you this is fantastic news because Mars rules Aries. So for you this has been a time for the past two months that Mars has been retrograde. It has been a time for you that has been challenging as far as getting things off the ground, as far as being able to move forward. Projects that you have probably tried to initiate um, were just stuck. You know, just stuck. But this week Mars is moving forward. Mercury already moved forward last week. And not only that, um, Sunday the 26th we are having this full moon in Pisces and this is so beautiful it's at three degrees of Pisces and then um, the Sun of course will be at three degrees of Virgo so we have this beautiful energy of the moon coming in and when we have the full moon then it is a time of letting go you know when we look at the moon when she's full she's at her full capacity of light so she is illuminating areas for you um, that you were not able to see in the, in the light of day. All right, it is a mixture between this lesser light and the shadow that enables us to see the things. Um, when we talk about the house or the area or the planet that uh, the full moon is uh, joining and shining her energy and shining her light in. So for you, this is happening in your 12th house. And the 12th house has to do with the subconscious mind. It has to do with fears from childhood. Or things that um, were down deep within you and you didn't even know they were there. So when we have a full moon, we have this opposition between uh, the sun and the moon. So the universe is asking you to bring a balance because the Virgo, the sun, is in your sixth house of your daily activity and routine. So with this full moon, there is an illumination of fears um, or maybe some subconscious issues that you had that were keeping you stuck, keeping you from moving forward in how you, and it affected how you took action on, on a daily basis and things maybe that you did not do because you were afraid or because you had a traditional way of thinking that needed to be changed. So with the full moon coming in here into this subconscious area, it, it will illuminate uh, something for you that perhaps you have believed, in a belief that you've outgrown that no longer serves you and it's illuminated and with the full moon endings are here. So you're able to, to end that and bring that balance into your daily activities and your routine or your daily work and able to uh, move forward in a way that you have been stuck previously. So this is very awesome. We still have the Grand Trine happening, Grand Earth Trine happening that I talked about last week. So for you, this is happening um, in your second house. Uh, Uranus is there in the sign of Taurus, Aries for you, so it's happening in your second house and also in your sixth house of daily activities. This is where the sun is and then Saturn is in your tenth house. So all of this energy is happening for you to push you forward in um, your area of finances, your daily work, your career in the world, okay, and your reputation in the world. And so all of this beautiful energy is coming in here and the universe is blessing you so the energy of this uh, full moon will last for six months you know and so you'll be able to feel this energy things coming to fruition this grand trine is happening for you in the in your houses of work and career and uh, daily activity, your income, your self-esteem is being built um, as you undergo the changes of Uranus. So it's a very beautiful time for you. Uh, so enjoy the energies, make the best of it, move out in a way that um, will bring positive change to you. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Just 
leap and move forward Mars is moving forward so you have the support of the universe to um, change your career move your life forward in a very positive way so these are the most important energies for the week um, enjoy them and I love you Aries and I will talk to you later have a great one